Hello guys, welcome back of course to another video, another job, another trailer, and I just delivered, delivered the propane trailer here, and they have another job for me, so that's lucky, I love it, I just fueled up, and I slept, so I can go, no problem. And I only have two options, so, yeah. not uh, the best job you know it's, it's not <laughs> it's only 9000 but it's o also only around 550 kilometers so you know kilometer wise it's okay should be here yes there it is let's take it out Actually this is quite a nice job because this will pay for the paint job I'm gonna put on. <laughs> so that's cool, the paint job is I think about 11,000 euros. Quite much of course for a paint job, uh, I don't know. Uh, do they uh, do it with golden paint or... <laughs> but still, you know. We have to take it of course. And some rims, I'm not sure how expensive they are, I hope not, I hope around 3000. Because then of course, uh, oh I still will be under 300,000, but it's okay, it's okay, no problem. We'll make it up then with the next job, with our new rims, a new paint job, it's crazy. Close trailer, from cams, looking great, looking great, everything works, yep, brake lights lights, blinkers, nice, that's good, let's get back in the cab, wow, okay, we are looking at the papers, we are hauling 6 tons of nitrocellulose, we are going to Prim, Camso, there wants it, I'm getting paid 9000 euros for a trip of 558, oh, I thought it was more, that's not too bad of course, that's not too bad. Of course, now that I'm used to 12,000 uh, your jobs, 16, 17, and now you have to go for a 9,000, I right away think, no, I don't want that. But you know, sometimes, like I said, I only had two jobs in this city. Of course, there was like a 13,000 uh, your job, but I thought, yeah, yeah. But uh, to get the trailer, I needed to drive 150 kilometers. I'm like, are you crazy? Not gonna do that, so then I'll take this one, no problem. And kilometer wise, I think it's not bad, so let's do it. Yeah! Okay, that scared the shit out of me, to be fair. <laughs> Alright, just just a short trip. Just relaxing. Uh, damage to the truck is 11%, so. 1 or 2% the job, so if I do 5 more jobs, it will be around 18. You wait there, dude, you wait there. Beautiful red truck, I have to say. No, let's get on the highway. And then, we are off, man, we are flying. Did not see you, you're in my blind spot. Wow. Okay, that was lucky, but I was also very careful. So. Was it luck? I don't think so. Although I see nothing in my mirror, I'm not gonna go blindly in again. So that's why I did not hit him yet. Normally of course, oh I see nothing and you go and then, yeah, for some reason there isn't a car in your blind spot or there's a little bit wrong with the mirror. And then it's like boom and you're like, what the? <laughs> no, 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 not that you I'm gonna take him. Why not? I'm feeling a little bit frisky. Uh, sir, you have one exhaust. Did you lose one? I'm not even speeding. No. Alright, let's do this. 
He's going off. That's it. No, he's going off. Is he going off? He's going off. I was speeding. Don't want that. 90 kilometers is awesome. Let's keep it at 90, you know. So I get a feeling I'm winning sometime because, you know, I'm going faster than I legally can. And why are you braking? I'm, I'm not sure why you are braking. What the hell? That's so weird. But, like I said, you know, you just have to keep your eye on the AI. It keeps you sharp. And from every, you know, crossing, traffic lights, you need to look at them. Brake early. And just hope. Whatever they're doing, you will see it coming and you can react to it. That's it, you know. Put my blinker already out, but I don't think they really respond to that, so... Yep, this time it's cool. Let's go. here so that's not a problem and I think I can finish this job yeah no problem two hours left to sleep again so I do oh police car of course <laughs> you know if anything you don't want to hit it's a police car trust me So go crazy. Life part hey. Do, 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 do. Just to be sure, I'm gonna take a little looky. Nope, nothing's coming. And you're gonna wait. Oh, we're going through a city, I thought 48. I'm not, I'm not a little bit tricky, it's tricky. Oh look, it's a cement truck, how nice is that? Nice. Yeah, 48, I knew it. Oh, sorry about that. Hamburgers. Nope. I need to do a job, and of course I'm not gonna eat hamburgers in my truck. No, the grease and, oh, it's not good, man. So, that's a no-no in my truck. Also no smoking, of course. No alcohol, but that's normal. I have my Coca-Cola. Still 48, okay. Hello, good people, where are you? It's empty. It's like a ghost town. do anything stupid. <laughs> I'm going to the left. Are you going straight or also to the left, dude? He's going straight. Okay. That's cool. Nice truck. Cement truck. I like it. It's cool. Oh, he's going to the left. Did not see that. I did not see you blinking, dude. Sorry. It did not seem blinking. Maybe later. Okay. Oh, I'm going off again. Well, this is uh, a lot of on and off in this job. Huh. 
Na, der hinten hat das Schiff komisch jetzt gemacht. I love uh, watching the Tour de France. Well, actually, all three big rounds. You know, you have uh, the Tour. Oh my God, um, I forget the other ones. Of course, uh, the Giro and the one is Fay. Vuelta. Vuelta. And you know, a few years back. Well, actually, in uh, the time of Armstrong, of course, he was a cheater. You know, it, it's unbelievable. He won seven times uh, to the front and he was my idol because you know he got cancer and he got cured and he came back and he, everybody was like wow man he's good and actually from the first year of course that he won they were you're not gonna do this to me right okay freight liner you never know what they're gonna do from the first year of course there were people that said no it's not possible he's so good And I'm like, yeah, you know, it's possible, why not? He won it again, and then a uh, third time. And then, of course, you know, it's already like, mm. But, you know, what it was is, uh, the other guys, you know, they ride all year long, you know? They did uh, maybe only to the front, but they did some classicers, you know, some classic ride rides, or two big rounds, and that's going to be, of course, wow. And uh, Armstrong only did the tour. That's it. He, you know. Uh, of course, he needed to, to test himself at a little, but he's not going to go full out there. But he he was training only for the tour, so that's why I thought, well, you know, if other riders are going to do double what he does, then it's possible, right? And he got tested. You know, and he was never positive. So I thought, yeah, he, he's just a great sportsman. Well, you know, he retired. After two years, I think, uh, he looks, you know, at the tour, he looks at the times they are driving, and, and the, he says, well, I can do that, you know, I can still do that, so he comes back, of course, uh, this time without, I think, without using drugs, and before the tour starts, he falls three times, he breaks everything, uh, the tour starts, he falls, I think, like eight times in the, in the first week, <laughs> it was ridiculous, yeah, and then he got caught, so... Uh, major upset, you know, also for me, of course, but he was my hero, you know. And 
every time somebody said, oh, you sing, I'm like, no, man, you're just jealous, you know, the Germans said it, of course, because Ulrich, uh, you know, Jan Ulrich never won, so they got angry, but uh, yeah, the two he used for nine years, every year from the tour, he was, uh, you know, using doping, and of course everybody was upset, that's normal, but you know, a year later, ooh, I think it's okay, uh, uh, people uh, people were very angry and upset because Armstrong said, well, you know, in my time, everybody was using doping, drugs, so I'm still the best. You know, everybody fell over him, of course, how could you say that, that's stupid, but let's think about it, he's right. Because Jan Ulrich, you know, who was mostly second or third, also used, right? So many many people use so if you think about it then he's right you know if everybody in the top five used then he's still the best so you know at first i was a little bit angry also i'm like yo dude don't speak don't even speak you know but then i got to thinking about it because uh to get armstrong you know and that's also a little bit dirty i don't really like that uh the government and the police said okay Whoever says, you know, uh, he's been using and can talk about Armstrong will not be uh, disqualified because the rules in cycling is you get caught, you get a two-year ban. You cannot cycle, uh, do races for two years. So many drivers, many cyclists, who of course did drugs, thought, ooh, you know, if I come out, you know, they're not gonna penalize me. Especially if I can say something about Armstrong. So all, uh, all of his old teammates said something about it. So yeah, I don't really like that. Engine defect? What the hell? It's only at 12%. What are you talking about? Engine defect? What's, that's weird. So you know, they all, you know, rattled on him. They all sold him out. So they don't get uh, banned. And uh, yeah, I, I still think that's a little bit dirty because a year before, you know, you're saying he's great, he's like that, he's awesome. And can you stop, please? Yes, yes, thank you. And then, uh, like six months later, you're telling the police, yeah, he did it, he did that. So that's a little bit sad. But we also had, of course, some Dutch people. Uh, using drugs and that's laughable for me like Michael Bogart he said well you know at one point I was clean but everybody was just passing me and I just could not keep up and I'm a professional so I started using drugs well <laughs> to be fair if you look at uh, the Tour de France his highest position is maybe place 50 so what the hell you're using drugs and you still get you know you still lose why using drugs then, you know, if you so that was really stupid. He comes, uh, he says it after 10 years, you know, just shut up then. Why say it, you know, just shut up. But whatever. Uh, yeah, this is the one where I pack it up. Because I cannot make that turn, it's cool. So, you know, that's really stupid. You're not a winner, right? So why come out? Of course there was uh, pressure from uh, the Dutch also, the Dutch uh, journalists have you been using and he's, of course he always said no, no but maybe the pressure got to him and he came out and everybody was pissed at him but he never won anything so yeah. <laughs> you know he got some uh, second places, third places but he never Now of course we have food. It's uh, he won the tour twice. That's cool. And I like it. He has a weird way of driving, but I like it. Yes! Nicely done, nicely done. Let's see what we get here. 9,000 euros. Well, it's not great, but... Average. Ooh, 609. Oh, nice, 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 nice. 
1700 XP to go, 3 more jobs. Well guys, I'm gonna look if I need fuel, no, nope, no fuel. Do I need to sleep? I think so, so I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna find, uh, of course, a service station to fix my truck. That's ah, 12%, but it, yeah, you know what, I can do that. And then I'm gonna put a new paint job on. And then I'm gonna show you guys, of course, also with some new rims, some new tires. I hope it's gonna all, you know, match a little. And of course, I hope you guys will love it. I love it, you know, new things on the truck. I'm gonna go shopping. Ah, so excited. So, thank you guys for watching, of course. Stay tuned for more. And remember, we rubble, like yourself. Keep rocking, dudes.